Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. Today it is Monday the 14th of December and it is just about 4pm in the afternoon and if there were a sunset tonight I would film it. I'm looking at the camera now as I'm filming and what I can see on the camera looks very different to what I can see with my eyes because the camera view looks fairly bright but the view I'm looking at with my eyes it looks really dark and grey it looks almost well early evening if you like and the reason around here is in a previous video I uploaded last night I think it was some old footage of mine and it was showing the old underground toilets on Talbot Road getting filled in and in the comments section for that video somebody asked me if I remembered the old underground toilets that ran with the subway well the subway was under here where I'm looking now if you look at where this fencing is that's pretty much where the underground subway was and it ran across the road and it came up on the opposite side of the road next to the old lifeboat house and there is some work going on there I'm not sure what's going on but in fact I think the subway entrance was around here it was on this corner more or less but it was quite wide and it was a long corridor that ran across the road where you could stay across the road and on the left hand side from where I'm looking now were some toilets but the main function of the subway was to be able to get across the promenade and the tram tracks safely and I made a remark in the comments section that yes I did indeed remember the subway I used to run under there when I was a little kid and I always just remember running down the little tunnel shouting hello just so I could hear the echo of my voice so yes I do remember that the subway tunnel ran from that corner there to across the road and came up well more or less straight opposite if you wanted to use that underground crossing and I would say I'm pretty sure it's not been filled in because for a start how would they fill it in without digging up the road and as I walked past there just now where they had that work going on something was open and it looked like the subway is probably still there it's just underground now I mean it's always been underground what I mean is it's covered up and just boarded up or whatever paved over whatever you want to say so the subway itself is still there at least in my mind it's still there pretty sure they didn't fill it in so we know the underground toilets on Talbot Square are definitely filmed in because I watched it and I filmed it and if you guys have seen the video then you've seen with your own eyes that those toilets are filled in the other underground toilets I remember they were the ones at Bethesda Square and they are still there they haven't been filled in or anything they're closed so they've not been used for years but they're just gated off, chained up 
closed off, whatever you'd want to call it, but those toilets are definitely still there. And somebody asked me about some other underground toilets on Station Road. I think they said they were. They were up that area anyway. I think they were on Station Road. And I did film there fairly recently. Well, fairly recently-ish. I'd have to check back and find the video. And I did try to poke my camera through the slot and have a look. And I'm pretty sure, from what I could see, that they hadn't been filled either. So it looks like the ones at Talbot Square are the only ones that actually got properly filled in. And I think that's because of the traffic that would be passing over there and where the tram line will be running near there. The trams won't be running directly over where the toilets were, but there will certainly be heavy traffic near there. But for whatever the reasons, they are definitely filled in now. Yeah, and obviously there was no sunset here to film now. Because everything's super dark and it's started to rain again. I am filming with my little waterproof camera. I'm finding it a little harder to hold steady than a regular camera. Also, my fingers are freezing. But, oh. here we go. I was going to come out and film earlier. I had so many big plans for filming today. I did walk all the way up to the ambassador site. Because I thought I'll go and check out and see if anything's being done with those breeze blocks so I can bring you any updates. But there's literally nothing I can film there. It just looks exactly the same as before. Nobody's moved anything, nobody's touched anything. I will keep tabs on what's happening, but obviously I'm not going to film stuff if nothing's happening. The rain is starting to come down now. So I think I am going to head home. I was going to make about four videos today. I had about two different vlogs planned. I was going to film at Wilco's and I was going to film near the Ambassador but none of that stuff panned out just really because there wasn't anything to film and I just got really cold and tired. Well that was Dale Street I've just walked down and if you follow my channel you will know Dale Street is actually already on the Streets of Blackpool series if you want to watch the full street video you can take a little look there at the abandoned Foxhall village housing development it's actually quite well lit even though it's getting dark so you do get quite a good view of that So I'll give you one last long sweep of this building site there. And on that note, I am going to say goodbye. I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and a comment, maybe even subscribe. And I shall see you all very soon in the next video. Goodbye.